And a string of gang-related shootings has rocked neighborhoods in Pueblo, leaving many on edge. There have been 13 shootings involving gang members since May. Most of those shootings happened on Pueblo's east side. And tonight, KRDO News Channel 13's Michelle San Miguel is finding out what's behind the violence. Yeah, she has a story you will only see here. We have the rare chance tonight to hear from current and former gang members. Both tell me they joined gangs at a young age. They say it was a family affair. Shooting 13th in Amarillo. Nobody was shot three times. Dispatch calls to police echo the violence on Pueblo City streets. Shooting. West Abriendo Avenue and Jewel Avenue. Police say there are eight to ten active gangs in Pueblo, but two rival gangs are responsible for most of the recent shootings. Over the last couple of years, we've had a few gang members that have been shot and killed. So what you see here is the consequence of that, um, is the backlash from that. Some of that backlash stems from the death of 15-year-old Isaac Lucero last November. Police say Lucero was killed by a gang member on the city's east side in broad daylight. His killer still hasn't been found. There's killers out there, some that play for keeps. We sat down with a ranking member of a local street gang to find out what leads young people to join a gang. We're not showing his face because he fears retaliation. We'll call him Ricky. I uh, came from a family that I really didn't have no structure. My mom was in and out of prison. My dad wasn't around. I was just seeking some kind of love. He joined a gang when he was just 13 and dropped out of middle school. Mostly all my family members are in the gang. And Friends, everybody. It's a similar story for former gang member Mark Salazar. I originally joined the gang just because they were like to me at the time they were family. That lifestyle landed Salazar in prison for eight years after a shootout with Pueblo police. I knew that eventually at a very young age I was going to end up in prison. I just didn't know for what and for how long. It's been more than 10 years since Salazar roamed the east side as a gangster. But he says the reasons kids are joining gangs now haven't changed. There's a lack of supervision at home and with the lack of supervision, it's kind of like, you know, when the mouse is away, the cattle play. There are now three generations of gangs in Pueblo. Detective Chad Jeffrey says it's a cycle of poverty that's nearly impossible to break. These folks have no chance. They, they have no exit strategy um, for them to get out of the gang. Pueblo police have teamed up with the FBI to identify the gang members in the city. The city is also working on an ordinance that would make it illegal for gang members to visit public venues like libraries and city parks. It'll be a similar type ordinance where they'll be trespassed, where, where they're not allowed wearing gang paraphernalia, gang clothing, um, hanging out in groups, um, showing their gang affiliation. That will be against the law in the city of Pueblo, hopefully, um, in the near future. As for Ricky, he says he's trying to change his life and get out of a gang. There's only a few places you could go if you join a gang. It's either prison for the rest of your life or in the grave. A warning for those eager to join. Pueblo police say the shootings are difficult to investigate because gang members do not cooperate. As always, those with information are urged to call Pueblo Crime Stoppers. That number is 542-STOP. You do not have to leave your name. Reporting live in Pueblo tonight, Michelle San Miguel, KRDO, News Channel 13. Thanks so much, Michelle.